we'll definitely touch on those and when the lamb opened the seventh seal silence covered the sky so sir isaac newton 1642 to 1727 i want you to be you know be patient with this and if you want to see and read this in more fuller context give some credit to the author of fallen watches it's on the scribe if you ever want to scribe on the internet it has a lot of books and copies of books it's not like the google books and everything something called fallen watches by jason Gwenther or gunther i'm not too sure about his pronunciation of his last name but jason Gwenther. i'll try to post something in the visual version of this so you'll be able to see it for yourself but anyway, gravity does not exist. Did you know that? Do you think that we're mentally challenged? Because we say that. You say, oh, this is uh, this proves this is absurd. This is stupid. So forth and so on. Gravity does exist. What do you think is holding you to the earth? But first of all, just listen to this for a moment. Let's get into this point. So Isaac Newton, 1642 to 1727, he said this. He said, about the time of the end, a body of men will be raised up who will turn their attention to the prophecies and insist upon their literal interpretation in the midst of much clamor and opposition. Now, we're quoting a portion of this from Fallen Watches by Jason Gwenther, Gunther, right? And he says, I believe this to be a very profound statement coming from a man who was a grand master of the Rosicrucians, Freemason, occultist, and thereby Luciferian, amongst other things. Oh, you didn't know that? Do your research. He is also most famous for giving us one of the most fundamental, quote, laws, end quote of modern physics, quote, gravity, end quote. That the law of gravity, the so-called law of gravity, is a lie and easily proven so. Gravity does not exist by its own definition. Gravity does not exist by its own definition. Oh, you think I'm mentally challenged now, huh? Well, you take a good look at the principles and laws of so-called gravity and then give me one good example of, quote, pull, end quote, and before you can come back to me, you better take another look at, quote, magnetism and inertia while you're at it. So look up the laws and the principles of the theory, Sir Isaac Newton's theory of um, gravity, magnetism, and inertia. Now, to pull something is an illusion. In fact, your hands or whatever are pushing it. Energy cannot move in two directions from and upon itself simultaneously from the same point source and that is exactly what Newton's so-called law of gravity states energy cannot and does not work this way it cannot go out and come back at the same time simultaneously and no that's not how a magnet works like we said look up magnetism look up inertia you understand look up gravity look up the the definitions that they have given us and that most of us believe because we've been taught it and we our children are taught it and everybody's taught this so we believe it's true but we don't even put it to the test to really find out whether it really is we don't prove it for ourselves but that's what gravity states so-called gravity the force of gravitation is a push not a pull anyways 
If you don't believe me, then maybe you'll believe Sir Isaac himself, who stated before he died that his so-called law was in fact false. Isaac Newton himself, so-called Sir, you understand, stated before he died that his so-called law, the so-called law of gravity, was in fact false. Pick up any copy of Amoric or A-M-O-R-C, the Rosicrucian manual, and look up gravity in the appendix, page 167. The law of gravity is diametrically the opposite in principle to the laws that God, Ha Elohim, created to govern the universe. The Bible says that Ha Elohim spoke and the worlds were. The word went out and all things were or became. Besides, how come NASA, NASA, NASA must change the mathematical formulas for measuring so-called gravity 600 miles outside of the Earth's orbit? Why do they have to change their formulas? And something else. The word gravity actually is in the Bible. It's in your Bible. It is Greek and it means some notes from the Strong's uh, Concordance Reference 45, the G4587, sem, not, ace, or ac, venerableness, gravity, venerableness, gravity. But it comes from this root, and check this out now. From Strong's reference 4576, Sem Sebo Mai, Sebo Mai, Seb O Seb or Sebo Mai. A primary verb which means to revere, to revere, to adore, to be devout, so called religious or worship. The real meaning behind the word gravity as in gravitas is religious worship in fact so-called Sir Isaac Newton who was a Luciferian or in other words a Satanist took the word for his theorem directly from the Bible it smells like sulfur like Satan all over it doesn't it anyways we have now gone down a little rabbit trail and we have to come back on course let's look at something you've probably always overlooked here's another prime example of where the truth can be completely overlooked this one is obvious you wonder why people still follow the false shepherds of Babylon and their doctrines I mean their doctrines but of course if you're not paying attention, hmm. Lord, in your hand, you got the phone. Right in your hand, you got the phone. Definitely touch on those and when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, silence covered the sky.